Hi guys, welcome back to the learning series. Today we are going to talk about uh, uh, candles again. Okay, uh, but I'm going to just recap what we did yesterday. Okay, so we spoke about the white candle, which is a bullish candle. Okay, where the opening is lower than the closing. Okay, there's a higher wick and a lower wick. The higher wick is the high of the candle. The lower wick is the low of the candle. Similarly, there's a black candle or a red candle, uh, which is a bearish candle. Okay, the high of the uh, candle is the higher wick, the low of the candle is the lower wick and the opening is higher than the closing. Okay, all right. Now, uh, see every candle or every uh, price is a formation when we get into the formations in candlesticks. Okay, but it is very important where these formations are found. Okay, where are these formations formed and then you react to those price changes. Okay, so today we are going to talk about how to draw your support and resistance lines. Okay, it's very important guys because uh, that is where you want to look for a trade. Okay, so for example, I've got an SBI chart here and uh, let me start drawing it for you and then you can replicate this on your chart. All right. So if I have a, this is a daily chart of SBI. Okay. I've zoomed out this chart and I've got data from say 2002 here. All right. So I'm going to do like a little bit on the uh, history uh, so that you can do it in the future. All right. So say I've got high here, right? Okay. I have a high level here. I don't know this part. So I'm going to like draw a horizontal line here. Now see, I drew this in April 2004 and then in July 2006, I got a trade here. You see this? That was a supply level here. The prices went down, went up, went up, tested this and I got another trade here. Okay. So let's, let's draw a few more lines. Okay. So it went and made a low here. So I'm going to draw another line here. When created this high, because it's very close to this level, I'm not going to draw any line. It went back up here and then I've got another high because it started dipping down. Then another high here, like a double top. Okay, you've heard this term before. So this is how double tops are formed. Okay, so I'm going to draw another line here. Okay, so I get a trade here somewhere. Okay, I'm going to talk about formations in the next video. But today you're going to just listen to me and try and identify these demand and supply zones okay a demand zone is a horizontal line where the prices take support from a supply zone is a horizontal line where the prices fall from okay they take resistance from all right so you see here this price has taken support which one acted as resistance before okay so Again, this came back. I don't have to draw any other line. It's already drawn. Broken this resistance here. Okay. And came back and tested it again. And then you get a trade here on the upside. Okay. You see, this is called change in polarity. Okay. When a resistance becomes support. All right. These lines are nothing but uh, emotional levels of humans, or emotional levels of traders, investors where people have started buying from again and again. Okay. Now you see this made a high here. So I'm going to draw because there's a spike here. I'm just going to draw like remove the spike and draw somewhere here. Okay. Now prices go down, prices go up, takes resistance here, comes back, goes up, takes support here, change in polarity and then creates this high. So I'm going to draw another line here. So you see what I'm doing? I'm drawing lines on highs and lows. Okay. But it has to be in a, at a fairly good distance. Okay. And you see this resistance again acted as resistance here. Okay. Clear. And then when it broke, it created another high here. So I'm going to draw another line here. All right. Clear. This is what I want you to do in your chart. Okay, 
go back to your chart you know how a candlestick is formed get on the candlesticks and start drawing horizontal lines these horizontal lines are called support and resistance lines or demand and supply levels and this is where the big guns trade okay if you have identified it correctly then the right candle formations will come to you and you'll get a trade a beautiful trade at that level okay now when people ask you questions such as uh, shall we start buying stocks now or we should wait this is what if you have this drawn in your chart you'll have answers to these questions right it's not rocket science not at all just draw horizontal lines for support and resistance and trade as per candlestick formations okay i'm going to talk about candlestick formations in the next video and we're going to start with single candlestick formation and then go to double candlestick formations okay as i said before in this uh, time of crisis let's learn okay i'm providing you with the tools i'm providing you with information please uh, make an effort to learn all right stay safe thank you very much